All right, a little behind-the-scenes interview. We're uh, just got a few minutes during a news break, and we're talking with Senator McCain today in studio. One of the things is the book you've been involved with, about 13 major conflicts we've been involved with, and highlighting someone from each. Why the book, and, uh, and what's in it? Well, it's a recognition of the brave Americans who fought in every major conflict that the United States has been involved in, from varying walks of life, from a 15-year-old that joined the Continental Army to an individual, Oliver Wendell Holmes, uh, Jr., who became a Justice of the United States Supreme Court, African Americans that fought very with bravery, uh, women who have served, uh, one a medic who, uh, after IED went off, went right in and risked their own life and saved others. Um, in the context of the conflicts in which they fought also, we talk about those ranging from the Korean War where our soldiers were literally freezing to death with summer uniforms on in the first winter in Korea. Uh, and the Chinese come, came down and drove them back uh, to uh, World War II, where there was a young man who was able to go out and because he spoke Japanese and talked Japanese into surrendering, uh, uh, Hispanic American. So we try to give a cross section. We hope it'll be interesting. And we hope that people would understand that wars are terrible things, but there are people who are able to do extraordinary things in the midst of some of the worst experiences anybody could ever have. When you look at the climate in American politics, and you've been in the Congress for quite a while, have you ever seen anything like the climate right now? No, and I think that the President's decision on immigration has poisoned the well in an incredible fashion. We Republicans, therefore, can't react by not doing anything because people want us to govern. But at the same time, th this has really harmed the environment. The president acted, in my view, in an absolutely unconstitutional fashion. So when you heard Harry Reid go to the floor of the Senate last week and utter the words, he hopes that the next session of the Senate will allow for debate, when he was the one that wouldn't allow for the debate from the Republicans, what was your reaction to that statement by him? I think it proves if you live long enough, anything is possible. <laughs> this, this is the guy. This is the guy that blocked. We just had finally had a vote on the XL pipeline in order to help the senator from Louisiana get reelected, which she won't, and uh, that has been blocked for six years. I mean, it, it, you can't make this stuff up. And What's so, three hundred bills in the house? 300 bills, in the, I think it's 200, 200? that pass the House that are sitting on his, his desk. He might look at his desk, he's probably pretty <laughs> over, overcrowded. But look, our challenge is now, our Republicans, govern. Don't impeach the President, we don't have the votes, but we can rifle shot a whole lot of issues that we can show Americans we can govern to their benefit. All right, Senator, it's always a pleasure to have you, Thank and you. we appreciate the behind-the-scenes interview. Thanks again. All right, get the book. Thanks.